Let's take a second and talk about why do we want to enter a customer into QuickBooks and what is that customer? So a lot of times is if you have, you're using QuickBooks online and you're a retail business, you're selling popsicles, <laughs> you're gonna sell 5,000 popsicles a day. You don't need to enter every customer in here. You don't have to enter customers. The main reason that you have to enter customers in QuickBooks is A, keep track of how much that person is paying you and B, invoice them. So if those two things don't matter to you, you don't have to enter a customer into QuickBooks. Let's take a look and see exactly how we get that in there. You would first start out with your dashboard. You're just logged into QuickBooks online. We've got our dashboard here. We need to enter a customer because we need to invoice them. So we're gonna go to sales and we're going to go down to customers. At this point, you could import customers. Maybe you had a previous software. Maybe you've got your customers in an Excel spreadsheet. You can import them, but we're gonna look, take a look at how to add a customer manually. So we're gonna put our name in. We're going to make up a name here for you. Um, so here is where you've got your first name in. This is probably your contact, who you're gonna bill what their company name is. Maybe it's the same. You have, you don't have to enter those, but there isn't red asterisk here for display name as. You have to have something there. So you can choose whether you want to invoice Becky Smith or you want to invoice the company name, which is Smith Company. Either way is fine. That is your preference. Then you need to enter their address in. You've got your town. If you don't enter this information in, it won't print out on your invoice. So it may or may not be relevant to you whether you need it. If you're not invoicing them, totally up to you whether you wanna put this in there or not. But it's good information to have and store in here. You can add notes to this customer. This may be information about them. Whatever you want to put in here, totally up to you. Tax info, you can actually tell it information about maybe they're tax exempt. Maybe your invoice that you're giving to them is subject to sales tax, which is gonna be a whole nother video on invoicing. You can put information in here on that customer though to help keep track of that. Payment and billing, when do you want them to pay you? So this is where you can set that up. You can have preferential treatment, preferred payment method, tell it if you want cash check or credit card, how do you want them to pay you? And then QuickBooks online, We'll go into this in a separate video, but let's touch on this for a second. QuickBooks Online has the ability to let you email invoices out and accept the payment via credit card all through here. It is a sweet option for you to have, but we'll walk through that at a different time. Right now, let's just focus on getting the customer information in there. So we wanna be able to take a check. Terms, when do you want them to pay you? Do you want them to, this bill to be due as soon as they get it from you? So it's due on receipt. Do you wanna give them 30 days to pay, 60 days? Here's where you can tell it how you want them to pay you. And then if they owe you anything right now, like you've used another software, they already owe you money, you've already accounted for that invoice elsewhere, you can put in the opening balance for this customer right here. They have different languages that you speak. You can choose which language that is here for your invoice to be in that language. And then you can also attach things in here if you want it to go along with this customer. You can enter their email address, which is important if you're emailing out their invoice to them, add in their phone number, and then you can actually tell it that it's a sub customer of someone else if you'd like to. After you get that information in and you're ready to roll, you can hit save. You also, have the option of entering a customer on the fly. So if you're going in and you want to invoice them, so once you're in here, you can enter the customer. Let's say, okay, my customer that I want's not in here. Instead of going all the way out of here, starting over, going back to the sales screen and going to customer, right here, I can just enter my customer name and tell it to add new. If I don't want to enter any of my information right now, I don't have to, but if you're trying to invoice them, you probably wanna click on details and go ahead and get that address in there and then hit save. So at least whenever you're invoicing them, it's all ready to go for you. So that's how you do it, what we would refer to as on the fly. So those are the ways that you can enter customers into QuickBooks Online. Make sure that you like our video and you subscribe and hit the bell up in the corner and have a great day. Stop, stop. Nah.
Cut that out. Yeah. <laughs>